We're delighted to have Richard Krugel with Price Action Income with us here today. Now, Richard is the lead technical analyst at Price Action Income, and he's a full-time trader and educator, and he's guided his members to over 300% growth since launching Price Action Income in 2018. He's a big believer in the science of how price moves and credits a lot of his success to his ability to understand and leverage this market geometry to his advantage. And with that, please join me in welcoming Richard Krugel to the room. Hey there, Richard. How are you doing today? Good and you guys. Can you hear me? Okay. Oh, we hear you just oh, fine, sorry, Richard. Just <laughs> clear my throat a little bit there. So I've set everything up. I'm almost ready to go. Uh, I prefer to share my screen with you guys. So my camera has been giving me a little bit of issues. Which All right. I have to take up with the price action income. So they might give me a new one. But um, <laughs> let me just quickly share my screen with you guys. And then we can kick things off. Oh, that looks so great. Uh, so sounds cool. And you can see my screen. All right. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, yeah, thanks for having me uh, today, guys. Uh, I remember last time uh, I was here, it was still winter here in South Africa and Cape Town. Pretty miserable. We had a stunning day today. Summer is definitely here. So looking forward to a lot of beach action and so forth. Um, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, I've, I've seen the lineup, uh, some some great traders that's been uh, speaking yesterday and still lined up for today. And uh, thanks again for having me here. Uh, so I'll get started. I uh, won't waste too much of your time any longer. So guys, today I'll be talking about the precision pitchfork trading and how in pretty much in any market condition, I want to show you how I use a foolproof strategy for capturing massive swings in any market by adding one simple tool to my charts. So again, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, I hope you're all staying safe and sane out there. It's been an incredibly crazy year with COVID. I know it's still um, being felt all over the world. Here in South Africa, it's been going a little bit better. We've actually uh, almost eased out of all our lockdown restrictions, but it's still prevalent. It's actually almost starting to pick up here again. So yeah, and even the US presidential elections that I've been following pretty closely from South Africa, which was also pretty crazy for me to see. Um, yeah, so hopefully that's all sorted out and there won't be too much trouble afterwards. Um, the, the markets definitely um, have been a little bit volatile. I was like, actually expecting a bit more volatility, but uh, that didn't really happen yet. And then again, guys, great talking to you today. And I'm super excited to share with you the most important tool in my trading arsenal, uh, which I use to analyze the markets and make sense of price action, which to the untrained eye might look completely random. And apart from that, guys, I guarantee that we have some credible bonuses on offer yet price action income towards the end. Um, and it will only be available for today's participants. So please stick around. All right, guys, so what's my goal for you today uh, with this session? I want to share with you the method and the tools that I use to simplify price action. And using this exact method and tools can greatly help you become more consistent and find you far more accurate trade setups and entries. So you might ask, what's the secret sauce? Uh, well, for me, there's a special methodology that I use to break down price action in a way that's systematic and that you can use over and over again on any market and time frame. And this isn't just specific to bull and bear markets. In fact, using this exact methodology together with the market geometry tools that I will be showing you later has allowed me to participate in both markets, uh, bull, bears, even sideways moving markets. Um, and this all led to pretty substantial profitable opportunities in stocks, forex, commodities, and so much more. And there's one more reason to stick around, guys. Um, you're going to see how I leverage this tool to guide our members to over four times in return since we launched in 2018. So for those who do not know me already, my name is Richard Krugel. I'm actually Afrikaans, guys. English is my second language. I'm streaming here from Cape Town, South Africa. I'll just give you a little bit of my background. Uh, after school, I joined the Navy where I um, qualified as a Navy diver. I'm also currently a dedicated family man and will be for the rest of my life, hopefully. I've been a professional trader for over 10 years, uh, something I'm very proud about, that I was the first person in history to complete a circumnavigation swim around Spain's largest island in Mallorca, 
which took about 360 kilometers or 223 miles. I set a world record there. That's something I'm really proud about. But uh, something that I'm even more proud about is that uh, over the past years, I've helped many traders experience freedom and have trained over 4,000 traders here at Price Action and Income with the Exponentials Profit System or the EPS for short that I personally developed. So that's me in just short. Um, But guys, over the years, I did a lot of things right, and I really learned quite a lot. I'm still learning. I think as soon as you think you stop learning and trading, then you're in trouble. So as long as you're always willing to uh, learn sorry, and uh, continuously improve yourself, especially educationally-wise, and that would be a great benefit for yourself. But I also did a lot of things uh, wrong. and I made plenty of mistakes along the way. You see, it definitely was not easy getting started at all in my beginning years. Um, I've endured plenty of early hardships. I had failures upon failures, but eventually my determination and persistence paid off when I started developing my own system and partnered with Price Action and Income to help others do the same. But after doing this for 14 years, it's actually a little bit more than 14 years, where I've worked on a fast-paced trading floor in Cape Town, where I used to day trade in equity markets. Um, I moved on from there after staying with them for about a year and a half. I developed my own trading system, and eventually I was able to quit my day job and started trading for a living. Um, <clears throat> I also started my own trading education business with Price and Action income as I just mentioned where I trained over 4,000 traders I end up up learning everything the real hard way guys Uh, but hopefully today with what I'm going to show you um, you can get to steal a cheat a little bit and steal my shortcut today so what is it like to learn the hard way guys and I'm sure this might resonate a lot with you Um, blowing accounts over and over and nearly going broke. I've in the beginning made so many mistakes where I traded with money that I couldn't afford to lose. Uh, I was under constant stress trying to make trading work. <clears throat> I literally lived in front of my streams all day long. I tried every, I tried everything from day trading, scalping, swing trading, buying holding strategies, uh, you name it. I've done everything. Um, I've missed out so much time with my family and kids, which I specifically hated. Uh, my wife actually sat me down one day and said, if you really want to make this work, then you really need to take a long, hard look in the mirror and decide if you want to pursue this road, because you could definitely see the stress levels. And obviously, <clears throat> that I wasn't the best person to talk to most of the time. So it's something I really hated, and, and, and luckily, all of this changed. Yeah, so guys, I threw in the towel almost every week in my beginning years, and I really felt destined to fail. So the question for you today is, uh, do you want an easier way to analyze price action without second-guessing yourself and without wasting hours waiting for a trade setup? And with the tools and methodology I use to analyze and trade the markets, it becomes way easier to break down price action in a systematic way and to trade in a more relaxed and stress free manner, which is something that's really important to me, especially to those that does not have all the time commitments to be stuck and glued to the screens all day long. But just a quick disclaimer, guys, uh, these results I'm about to show you on typical. I will show you trade setups that have generated thousands of dollars in 2020. Uh, my results certainly on typical and the average trader who attends any average training gets zero results. However, I'm happy to show you exactly what's working for me for free today. And this is not for the get-rich-quick crowd or anyone who thinks there's no risk involved when trading with real money. All right, guys, so I'm going to be explaining a few slides and just showing you some of the trades uh, that happened this year. Uh, I think one of the first trades we took was on the EuroCAD, and I'll be showing you some other um, setups as well later on. But in base, uh, basic, I'll be going over my precision pitchfork trading tool. Um, I'll be going into that a little bit more detail later on. But anyway, in any case, EuroCAD was coming into this year into a low, and there was a specific pattern that I was thinking was developing, which is one of uh, the patterns that I teach. Uh, I track about five patterns or some traders would call corrections and then using market geometry and applying your market geometry tools uh, like the pitchfork 
over specific anchor points, uh, knowing that you might be dealing with a certain corrective pattern, then allows you to identify an area, very importantly, before price actually reaches an area, giving you enough time to prepare for a trade, and then also wait for certain entry conditions to appear to confirm that I should get into a trade. So there's also a level of uh, rules base that's worked into the methodology. But in any case, we'll get to that a little bit later. I managed to enter into a trade after there was a reaction downwards. This was in a daily time frame. We also expected that, and this was actually, you can't see on the chart here, an expanding triangle. And we expected, and I expected that it will be a hard and fast move down to the downside, which is just how these triangle patterns tend to behave when they finish. And then I, in this case, and I'll be explaining this later again, I then sloped a pitchfork in the direction I wanted to trade in and then knew exactly before I entered where I want to be placing my targets and also very importantly, um, know how to manage my open positions and trail my stops safely behind the market so I don't get stopped out too often. <clears throat> then we had a great trade on the Australian dollar, US dollar. Summary again, uh, this was actually a little correction here. Yeah, I slapped a pitchfork in the direction of this, identified the zone before price actually reached there. There was a reaction, got into a little bit late. But in case we got an entry in there, knew exactly where to price my targets. In this case, I took two targets. Again, slapping a pitchfork in the direction I wanted to trade so that I could trail my stop behind market structure as price continued to the downside. We also had a great uh, trade here on ADP, which is automated data processing, a stock um, traded on the indices, oh, sorry, in the indices on the um, stock market for a profit of $1,000 here. Um, again, using a similar sort of strategy, I like to find the end of corrections, and you'll be hearing me saying this quite a bit. Uh, I apply pitchforks um, by first understanding what a trend looks like, and then when I do get a correction, I try to figure out what correction I might be dealing with. And this is all things that I teach to my members, and then using uh, pitchforks to find the end of where you think a correction might end, and then waiting for specific entry conditions, you then enter into a trade, knowing where your profit targets are, how to manage your open position. Then crude oil, which is actually one of my most favorite markets to trade, uh, can be quite volatile. As you all know, those have been trading long enough. Um, I can trade this on CFDs. I know Americans might not be able to uh, trade CFDs, depending who you are, where you are in the world. But uh, I managed to trade crude oil. This actually took 45 minutes to set up. Uh, so if you've been asking what time frames I trade this strategy, it can really work on any time frame that you like. Um, I prefer trading uh, my strategy on a four hour time frame and then using multiple time frame analysis going all the way from four hour to 30 minutes and sometimes five minutes. But I have traders that even work from higher time frames like a monthly drilling down to a weekly and even a daily. So it really depends on your time commitment to trade this methodology. Then again, so another great example on the pound yen. Uh, this was a great example. I think this is on a daily chart. We drilled down. We, we uh, thought that we were dealing with the symmetrical triangle. Um, and once I used specific uh, market geometry within this triangle to classify to see if it, is, it actually was a triangle, I waited until price broke, but at a lower certain level, got in and also rode to those targets. So guys, each of these trades happened in under six months and they far outweighed any losses in between. And here are the trades just showing you uh, both winners and losers. But what I really want to show you, and this is a time span of under six months, that uh, even if we did have losses, that they were kept to a minimum. Uh, I don't like uh, risking more than 2% to trade. Uh, depending on how many trades I might have for simultaneously running, I could even go to 1%. Um, but uh, some of our members may, might even use less than that, depending on the account size. So obviously, as you should know, if you, do, if you do decide to trade or you've been trading for a while, that uh, professional traders are professional risk managers, not just uh, knowing when to trade and how to manage your open position. That's very important that you always try to keep your risk as minimum as possible. And guys, that's a total net gain of over $6,980. That's nearly $7,000 in less than six months. And that's even accounting for losing trades. But those results are certainly impressive. And I hope you agree with that. Uh, but they were only possible with the power to forecast price action. 
But the ability to do so wasn't developed overnight, guys, and that I can definitely assure you. So what changed for me along the way, you might ask? Uh, well, the thing is, I discovered that in any market, regardless of varying models, that there is a science to our price moves. And this is called market geometry. And for me, this really changed everything. It turned everything around for me. But what I want you to understand, guys, that I discovered this, like I mentioned before, the hard way after many years of blood, sweat, and tears. And this really something that I, uh, what I still wish today is that if I could avoid the emotional roller coaster that I had to endure through the beginning years, trying to make a success out of trading, then my wish would be that I knew what I know now earlier on and that I more actively seeked a mentor that could show me the right way. But... Um, <clears throat> So for today, I want to show you an easier way. Uh, what would you do if you could eliminate all the mistakes I've made and grow your account faster? I want to give you the opportunity to learn from my mistakes. Uh, and since I've guided our traders to over 300% in account growth since the launch in 2018, wouldn't you like to be able to say that you did the same? Hopefully that would be pretty amazing, right? And guys, this was all possible, the power of market geometry. So for those who do not know what market geometry is, I pretty much define it that there is an underlying symmetry prevalent in all markets and all time frames. Now, exposing this symmetry to your advantage with certain drawing tools is what's called market geometry. And when done correctly, it can greatly assist you to make sense of price action and give you a serious edge in the markets. And for me, the most important tool in my market geometry toolbox is the pitchfork. So before I show you some examples a little bit later on, for me, there's really three secrets for the perfect pitchfork trade. So instead of using, or sorry, instead of guessing where price is headed, I can trade with confidence using pitchforks. I don't have to worry about risking too much because they help me place a near perfect stop loss. And you don't need a massive account to see real results when you follow a few rules. So guys, just a secret number one. Let me elaborate on that a little bit. Um, instead of guessing where price is headed, I can trade with confidence using pitchforks. Because when you apply pitchforks correctly, they act as sort of a roadmap, uh, which price will follow in the majority of cases, allowing me to plan a trade ahead of time, which in turn allows me to execute my trades with much greater confidence. You might have heard me say earlier on that I prefer to use pitchforks over corrections, which is where I use them mostly, not so much over trending markets, because uh, as you all know, trends can last for quite a long time. And even if you're using stuff like um, trend loans and so forth, you've got to consistently uh, move them around to adapt as the market's adapting. So I found that using pitchforks over corrections of it works extremely, extremely well, like I'll be showing in a short while. Guys, let's talk about my secret number two. I don't have to worry with uh, about risking too much because pitchforks help me place a near perfect stop. Uh, knowing where to enter a trade at the most opportune time where your risk is the smallest and your profit potential is at its highest is what makes a pitchfork such a powerful tool. And very often you will find that pitchforks will capture the very end of corrections, like I mentioned, allowing you to use small stops without the risk of getting stopped out too often. And this brings me to my final secret. You don't need a massive account and you don't have to take on extra risk to leverage these kinds of trades. I didn't have a big account when I got started and I never risked more than 2%. And you certainly don't have to risk your account balance to get the most out of your risk and reward. Speaking of risk versus, uh, versus reward, how would you like to learn to find an entry that turns on a dime and then with only using a tight stop, increase your profit by 10 times over? And guys, this really is a reality. I uh, tend to see trades over three to one risk reward, uh, sometimes even more than that. And like I'll be showing you in the next slide, this is one of my most absolute greatest trades that I've ever taken with myself and even some of my members that took us. Uh, was on the US dollar, Canadian dollar. And sorry, something popped up on my screen there. Hopefully it's gone now. Um, I don't know if you can see on the screen down here, but uh, this was actually drilling down to a five minute time frame using that uh, multi time frame methodology that I explained before from a four hour, 30 minute to a five minute 
where I entered after price actually reached a market geometry line. I'll be going over the market geometry lines a little bit later with a pitchfork. Uh, I had a specific reversal candlestick pattern that I also like to follow. There's also other conditions that I do like to follow. Uh, I knew exactly where to place my entry and I used an excessively tight stop for only 12 pips. Um, and if you can see on this chart, it's actually been blown up or zoomed out. So you can see that I used an incredibly small stop loss here. Um, this was actually a correction that ran to the downside. I just used basically three anchor points. So again, I'll show you how to draw a pitchfork a bit later on. And I, as price was moving down into a level, I decided that if price reaches that pitchfork, which you can't see on the chart right now, then I would be happy to get into a trade, drilling down to a smaller time frame. And that previous uh, slide was actually the entry, a very small stop loss that I used. And I sloped after I've entered or anticipating that I could get reversal. Enough time, I sloped the pitchfork into the direction of where I wanted to trade. And then I knew exactly where to place my profit targets. This was an absolute fantastic trade because as soon as price actually reached this upper warning line, the red line I call here, I'll go over these lines a little bit later again, price actually reversed and it moved lower. Now there are a few ways you can actually place your profit targets. If you do enter at a low, and obviously depends where you enter, you can place your profit targets. In this case, I use two or three profit targets. Uh, these days are quite like to just use two. But in any case, you can either place it dynamically as price moves. Your, in this case, your median lines would be slowing upwards. So dynamically, you can move your profit targets until price reach either your center median line, upper median line, or your warning lines. Or you can just go directly up, up from where you entered and place a first target there and a second target there. And in these cases, all of them would have worked out pretty well. So guys, uh, as you've seen, that was a massive trade that started with very, very small risk. And after spending only a few minutes a day managing the position, I closed out this trade for a whopping 45 to 1 reward to risk ratio. And I'll, pretty, I'll say that's a pretty good ratio and absolutely still one of the best trades that I've ever taken. Um, so in a $10,000 account, uh, that's a $7,400 return from one single trade in one month or almost 15000 in a $20,000 account. It really depends on your account size, what markets you're trading, and if you can manage your position size, obviously. And look, that's not to say every signal plays out exactly like this, but even having the opportunity to catch these types of moves a few times in a given year can really, really change your account size. So what doesn't... And this brings me to a piece of today's presentation. Um, so why doesn't MetaTrader or NinjaTrader have a proper pitchfork? Guys, this is a really good question. Um, if you have heard from me before or know my methodology, then you would have known that I prefer using TradingView to perform all of my analysis. And one of the major reasons for this is because I feel that MetaTrader seriously lacks some of the most basic tools like a proper pitchfork. NinjaTrader, on the other hand, is miles ahead of the MetaTrader platform, but when it comes to drawing pitchforks and switching between settings, then even NinjaTrader can also be difficult to use. Uh, <clears throat> but for me, uh, market geometry and the pitchfork is basically the holy grail of trading tools, uh, but it takes practice and the right guidance to use it properly. And more importantly, what, we can, what can we do to fix this issue that we've been having with NinjaTrader? Um, We've had so many minute trader users uh, over the years that approached us, um, even Ninja Traders users uh, recently, all asking how they can draw a shift pitchfork, for example. Uh, most uh, platforms will have a standard pitchfork, or as they call it, the doctor, or just the Alan Andrews pitchfork. But the shift pitchfork is for me where all the magic happens, especially when you apply them over corrections. And uh, this is not a standard tool in MetaTrader 4, or even 5. And it is extremely useful to use, as I'll be showing you some examples in a short while. Sorry, guys, let me just take a sip of water in. So, guys, I've been uh, hard at work behind the scenes. Um, I mean, for me, it was really mind-blowing to 
that there wasn't such a proper solution to this problem. So I put our developers to work at Price Action Income, designing the perfect precision pitch for, for MetaTrader and now NinjaTrader as well. And the results were really incredible. In fact, enough chatting. Um, let me just pull over one of my charts here so I can show you the pitchfork in action. Guys, so this is a MetaTrader 5 platform. I've just got it on a demo account. So this is really for all the guys out there that's still using MetaTrader 4 or 5. Um, you'll see that I've applied a indicator, as they would call it. They even apply, uh, use, I think, indicators. They call it indicators in NinjaTrader 8. This could have been NinjaTrader 8 as well. Uh, just note that the indicator would look exactly the same. It's a very simple process of actually applying this. And you'll see that on the top left hand corner, there is three buttons called an A for Andrew's pitchfork, an S for a shift pitchfork, and then an R for a reverse mode. So without further ado, let's quickly jump into some pitchforks here and just basically give you a recap of how pitchforks work. So as you all know, I apply pitchforks over corrections. Um, this is a great example of Canadian dollar Swiss franc. This is actually a trade that I'm tracking at the moment. I'm not currently in it. I think the bigger picture of what you don't see on the chart here is actually materializing as a large triangle correction. But in any case, as a good example, if you were to click on that A button over there and you select three points in a market, you'll see that it makes a little one, a two, and a three. And to draw a pitchfork correctly, you need to attach your pitchfork to three anchor points. A starting point, if you want to slope it to the upside, you need a higher high, in this case will be your second anchor point, and you need to select a higher low. This is also something I teach when you should start applying your pitchforks, etc. etc. Uh, but before we get into that and the other buttons as well. Uh, those that are not familiar with pitchforks, uh, it was created by a guy called Dr. Alan Andrews, and he actually just started with what he called a median line. These days we call it the center median line, and all it was that there was this line that was angled between, from a starting point, in this case the first anchor point, and it was uh, angled between 50% of the range between your second anchor point, in this case a higher high, and your third anchor point, in this case a higher low. And that would pro uh, project a line at an angle into the future. Uh, now for those that have been using or uh, applying pitchforks to the charts, we'll quite often see how great these tools work because price tends to dance around and find support and resistance at these lines. So just quickly, again, he called this a median line. I called the center median line. And then at a later stage, he also projected lines from his second and his third anchor point that runs parallel to the center median line. In this case, it's called an upper median line and a lower median line. You'll also see that I've got what I call 50% dashed median lines, which basically just says six, uh, 50% the distance from your lower or your center to your upper or your center to your lower median line. Then I go a step further and I also use what's called warning lines. And you see that they run the same distance from your center to your upper, projected to the upside parallel from your upper to your upper, in this case, warning line. I also got a 50% dash median line there. These are particularly useful when you have extreme moves in very volatile markets. Uh, they can either act as uh, the final end from where a correction or a trend might end, or they could also act as an indication that a uh, market is extremely powerful and that when price actually breaks those lines that you are dealing with a very strong trending market. So that brings me to what the Andrews Pitchfork is. Um, to get rid of it on a chart, you basically click on it, uh, right click and you delete as well. Then this brings me to the shift pitchfork. Um, and let me just draw using the same pitch or same pivots again. You go one, two, or anchor points, I should say, three. Now, immediately what you'll see is that in this case, the center median line does not start from your first point of origin. But in fact, if you use a, let's say just a fib extension, and you pull it from this low, to that high, 
It is angled at 50% between the range from your first starting point to your, in this case, your second anchor point. Sorry, I'm just messing around with my words there. And what would happen in the result in is that your center median line in this case would be running at a flatter angle or less steep angle than your standard pitchfork was. But uh, the naming of these median lines are still the same. We still have a center median line, upper median line, lower median line, upper warding line, and a lower warding line. I'll call these 50% dashed median lines. Um, and just a quick uh, brief history of the shift pitchfork. As the story goes, uh, there was a student, or I believe one of uh, Andrew's colleagues, I'm not 100% sure, his surname was Schiff. I can't, I can't remember what his name was. But in any case, he proposed to uh, Dr. Alan Andrews that if you would angle your center median line at a flatter angle, that it could be very useful to deal with markets that aren't trending, for example. And this is one of the reasons why I'm using this setting. I would say probably 95% of the time in my own trading and apply them over corrections. And this is a great example where the Canadian dollar Swiss franc actually ran up and it found resistance to the upper median line. And depending on which direction of the markets you're trading, let's say that the market was coming down, you would slope one to the downside and you would expect that if you think you were dealing with a correction that a market could find resistance or support depending on the direction you're trading at either your upper or your lower median lines, and in, in extreme cases, your upper or your lower uh, warning lines. Um, let me just get rid of that quickly. So guys, very easy to trade or very easy to apply to your charts. Um, you'll probably notice that uh, it is way easier than your standard pitchfork that is currently available on um, MetaTrader. Let me just show you that. Um, I think they hide it on the channels. There are some uh, free versions available online um, to draw pitchforks. But as you'll see, none of them have a shift pitchfork, which is one of the reasons, and with my methodology, especially why we developed the shift pitchfork as well. And this is what we call a toolbar. We're actually currently expanding on this as well. We, we adding specific uh, uh, tools that uh, we are incorporating in this, like Elliott Wave uh, labeling, etc., which is also something that MetaTrader 4 lacks. Um, let me just get rid of that quickly. And this brings me to the final button here, which is called reverse mode. So let's say I was using the Allen Shift Pitchfork, or sorry, Allen Pitchfork, which is a standard pitchfork, as some um, platforms would call it. And I select three pivots and on the fly, I see I don't really like the setting. I could just go and click the reverse button and it will switch between a standard pitchfork to a switch, a swift, well, <laughs> shift pitchfork. Sorry, guys, I'm never used to talking this much. But in any case, a very, very cool user-friendly tool to use in MetaTrader. Um, like I mentioned before, this is also available on Ninja Trader 8. I know a lot of traders have been dumping Ninja Trader 7. It was just a very uh, outdated uh, version of Ninja Trader to use. So it works exactly the same. It looks exactly the same in Ninja Trader 8. So, guys, that just quickly is um, what pitchfox are. Oh, I tend to like them, uh, imply them, or sorry, use them over corrections and how easy it is to now use them in MetaTrader 4 or 5 or NinjaTrader. Okay, so that brings me to the next slide, guys. Um, we still have about, oh, I think, 15 or so minutes to go. Um, so as you can see, we've tested and fine-tuned our new precision pitchfork to match my analysis perfectly. And it was the missing ingredient for so many traders using these other popular platforms for a long time now. So you could imagine what a hassle it can be trying to perform your analysis elsewhere and then placing your orders on your MetaTrader account just because they did not include the simple tool and its correct settings properly. So finally, this issue has been solved. Ultimately, we focused on two things to make this the perfect addition to your trading toolbox. So the precision pitchfork is optimized for maximum accuracy 
and results and using the correct settings that I use and many of my members and students personally use. And secondly, if you've never used a pitchfork before, then I propose that you give it a shot. It never ceases to amaze me how pitchforks manage to contain price and how price action almost magically finds support and resistance as it dances between the confines of your median lines. So if you've never used one before, then I really, really suggest that you try using it now. Okay, guys, so here's what I'm going to do for you guys today. Um, I'm going to share my new precision pitchfork with you today so you can trade with deadly precision in MetaTrader 4 and 5 and recently in included Ninja Trader 8 as well. So guys, this isn't just an imitation. This is the ideal pitchfork, and it's really been designed to my specific specifications. Um, so guys, my precision pitchfork is perfect for you if you want a solution that delivers real results. You want to trade high probability opportunities in any market, and you want to build your complete strategy with the tools in your platform. And you want to trade and live your life on your terms starting now. So guys, just quickly, uh, what some of my members are saying, uh, we've had Stephen that's been with us for a very long time now. Uh, thanks, Richard. Guys, uh, Richard is the real deal. Since discovering his videos and finally buying some courses, market geometry has greatly increased my trading success. My recommendation is to learn all that you can about the Andrews Pitchfork. We also have Raymond that's been with us for a very long time. I trade with FIPS and pitchforks uh, in most markets with great success, and I love your market geometry. Thanks for that, guys. I always say thanks to them. They also do always pop up now and then our member session, and I'd love to have some of their feedback. All right, guys, so let's discuss uh, what you're going to get today. Um, um, I'm going to give you lifetime access to my custom precision pitchfork indicator. Um, and this is for a value of $497. And this is also lifetime access to all updates and add-ons that will be developed as we continuously build on this um, market geometry toolbox, as I can say. And this has also got a great value of $497. Like I mentioned, we're going to be putting Elliott Wave labeling in there. Uh, we've got uh, already built-in alerts that will alert you when... Uh, when markets approach some of your median lines or areas that you want to be trading from, so you don't have to be glued to your screen all the time, which is also a great addition. And then what's really even more of greater value, guys, is I'm going to give you my personal precision pitchfork trading guide so you can hit the ground running. Uh, this isn't just some Mickey Mouse sort of ebook. It has a lot of pages, and there was some real value to show you exactly how I approach my methodology how I break down the markets from higher time frames to lower time frames, which corrections I follow, uh, what their behavior tends to be, uh, and then how to use market geometry to figure out where the most opportune areas are to trade. And then also very importantly, I'm going to give you my three-part precision pitch for trading course for total value of 497 US. That's over three hours. I almost believe it's almost four hours of video training that we're going to include for today's webinar only for today's session, uh, which I believe is also of really, really good value. So instead of me just showing you a few slides of how I trade and showing you some great trades, this actually brings everything together and shows you exactly how I applied my methodology using the exponential profit system. And then we also worked in a members-only message board for sharing charts and more. This is of really, really good value. Um, it's for a value of $197. Uh, I find this extremely useful for especially beginner traders and especially after they've gone through all of these training courses and the guide so that they can share some of their charts, some of their ideas, and personally ask me questions. Um, this is a great addition, great educational value that we added here so that you can fast track your learning or the learning curve that's required to apply market geometry properly. So guys, this brings us to a total value of about 1,784 US dollar, dollars, and you can see why it's well over $2,000. Um, I mean, even 994 would actually be amazing. But since I know people are struggling and these past few months have been tough, I'm going to go even lower for you guys today way lower for today only for today's webinar only and today i'm only going to be offering this for 147 us 
dollars. Uh, again, guys, that's the Precision Pitchfork Indicator. All our updates in the futures will be included. Uh, my downloadable Pitchfork Guide, a three-part Pitchfork training course, and my members-only message discussion board. So I'm sure Rolly would be adding a slide in the later. There's this link if you want to take up this offer right now. Again, guys, it's only available towards the end of, the, I think probably they'll have it open till the end of today's event. Uh, just quickly before I take some uh, questions from you guys, which I would love to answer if there are any. Um, this is what our members discussion board looks like. Uh, this is actually the back end. Um, so if you do decide to take us up on an offer, uh, we've made it really easy to install the indicator. Um, we've got videos to show exactly how to do it. We've got an .exe file to automatically install it on whatever platform you are using. So there's no issues with that. Um, and let me just go down a little bit more. Um, and here's those quick start guides that I talked about. We got videos, we got everything in text, we got it in PDF if you wanted. Um, let me just go down a little bit lower. Um, we also discuss how to use the alerts in MetaTrader and the basic functionality of using alerts in NinjaTrader. Uh, this is that great uh, three-part precision trading course that I talked about, um, where I have three uh, very, very detailed videos that goes into how you should apply your pitchforks and your market geometry properly. And again, what I've mentioned lastly, we have a members-only discussion board uh, that we've just recently included, where you could basically um show your charts ask me anything about the video content anything you want about market geometry maybe of any trade idea that you might have uh, all i do ask is that if you do share your charts that you try to at least draw these uh market geometry lines yourself to better your own learning curve and then as soon as the discussion comes up um, i tend to get an email so i'm aware of it and i i'm very good at replying and 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 helping our members out to succeed uh, with market geometry. Again, guys, very good value. If it wasn't just for the Pitchfork, then I would say that even the uh, members only discussion board, the Pitchfork training course and the downloadable guide is a extremely good addition to today's course. And that, Raleigh, I think is it from me. Um, I wow. hope you got some questions going. Um, I hope yeah, you can hear me properly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Richard, once again, thank you for kicking things off with a terrific presentation. I did take several questions, uh, notes while you were speaking, and, and let me just go ahead and share with you what I noted. Uh, yes, first please. of all, a lot mm -hmm. of feedback on people really appreciated the time that you took to patiently show the proper way to apply a pitchfork, because that's what's thank in you. everybody's mind. How do you do yes. that? And then the way you showed the difference between the Andrews and the shift pitchfork, I mean, just basically nailed it. So congratulations, kudos for the way that you were <laughs> able to share that with everybody in the room. Because when you Thanks, start drawing man. lines that look as dramatic as they do and you start to shift, unless you're really paying attention, it's hard to follow them. You did a fantastic job. And obviously the reverse much. button that you have. <laughs> that just kind of yes. brought it all home. So <laughs> those you. are just comments I just wanted to generally share. So some of the more specific questions were, Richard, will this work on basically any time frame? Rolly, I mentioned that in the beginning, but I'd like to elaborate on that. Um, it would work on any time frame. Um, one thing I have to be dead honest with you guys. Um, for example, if you were a sculptor trading from a one minute time frame, then I mean, if you're at least young enough to do that and have enough time to do that too, <laughs> then by all means do that. Um, but what I do find that's uh, that's really important that if you want to be working on a smaller time frame or trading on a smaller time frame, that you at least have a time frame higher than that, for example, to just show see we are on the bigger picture of things, so right. that things don't get too noisy on a chart. You know, it's very easily to get caught up in the mess, um, lose focus, and so forth which is one of the reasons why I apply multiple time frame analysis in my methodology as well, to break things down, know when a correction might happen before it happens, when you think a correction is happening, then think which correction you might be dealing with is something I teach, then applying your pitchforks over that correction 
using the right pivot points, like you mentioned before, it's very important. Sure. And then before price actually reaches an area you want to trade from, you don't just go and jump into a trade. I have certain entry conditions that you need to follow, but it can really be applied to any time frame. I also mentioned that there are guys that are, that use long-term swing trades on these. They even go from a monthly time frame and drill all the way down to a weekly and a daily time frame. That's My cool. favorite that, is that a four-hour, 30-minute, yeah. and then a five-minute, sometimes a 10-minute time frame as well. Well, that answers another one of the questions that came up was, does it you know, also apply for longer-term swing trades? And it, and it appears like it's, it would. Your charts are very, very clean. And so there were other questions that came up where they're wondering, Richard, do you look at any other indicators for confirmation signals like Bollinger Bands or MACDs or volume, or do you basically just really looking at the market geometry as presented by price action and the use of the tool? I use the I use a little bit of Elliott wave analysis when, uh, and, and when you sometimes mention this, people want to run to the hill because it's a very subjective type of way of analysis. Um, I, I really focus on corrections only. Um, and I think Elliott Wave is one of the only sort of techniques that explain corrections really well. Uh, but even then, looking at a chart, I might say something and another expert that trades Elliott Waves only will come up with a different type of analysis. Sure. Which is exactly why I use market geometry to basically um, guide me into an area, then look at price structure. Now, as you've seen, the charts are very clean. Something that I did not show you is that I only use one indicator, which is the MACD. And I do follow momentum divergence as price approaches an area that I want to trade. So I definitely okay. want to see uh, some momentum slowing down. I want to see divergence on the MACD, especially the Instagram side of things. And okay. then I have, I have reversal candlestick patterns. After that happened, price needs to interact with my market geometry lines. And then I know exactly where to enter a trade or so. And those are my hard, my hard set um, rules, if you may, sure. that I need to see before I enter a trade. So I don't just loosely draw lines and enter into a market. I need to see these specific hard set rules. And like I've said, I, I haven't showed you the MACD, but it's, it's definitely an indicator that I use in the methodology. Okay, good. Great. Yeah. Appreciate that, uh, sharing that yes. with us. And uh, the last set of questions got into a little bit more about the platforms. Now, I know that you showed that the tool is available um, for MetaTrader 4 and 5 and also on Ninja 8. You had also briefly at the beginning mentioned TradingView. Is it also available on TradingView? Uh, TradingView, you uh, don't I even may... need the indicator because TradingView, my, I don't know if you can still, can you still see my chart. Uh, yes, I see your chart there. Yeah. Okay. Trading view, in my opinion, and I use trading view because it's so easily, for example, to share an image, right. send it to my members or send it to a friend or some trading person that I know somewhere or someone asking me a question. But here on the left hand side, as I set it up, uh, I basically have all the drawing tools that I would ever need in a platform. Okay. Um, so, you know, specifically developed this tool. I mean, I could just click on a pitchfork there. It would snap to the highs and the lows. Oh, sorry, I'm just taking that off because I'm scrunched up the chart so much. And you can very easily on the fly uh, also switch between, uh, as they call, and uh, Alan Andrews, they call the original, yeah. And you can go to sh uh, shift pitchfork as well, the setting. Okay, so very so they easy have, to, to yeah. use it on trading view. I use this for my analysis with my member because we got additional other services that I that we that we offer. Okay. Uh, so it's just a very easy platform to use. But uh, just quickly to to fix, finish off that uh, question, Rolly, is that we've had so many members that just refuse to go to trading view, and I can understand this. <laughs> they might have been trading with MetaTrader four or five. It is one of the most widely used platforms in the world, Amen. and yeah. they just simply lacked, like I mentioned, these basic tools. And this is why we offered them for you guys or today's webinar. And sure, no, it makes all the sense in the world. I think, folks, just to I'm just going to probably restate the obvious here, but what Richard is saying is that this particular tool and the application of the tool is the key to what he has seen in consistency in trading the market. And being able to have the correct tool available is critical 
to being able Absolutely. to execute this strategy. So whether it's TradingView or MetaTrader or NinjaTrader 8, those are the platforms where you can get this precise tool. And to that point, and I know when you're, when you're selling an indicator or you have an indicator, that's one of the challenges that you have is how do you make it widely available? Do you have ongoing plans to release it, for example, like on a Metastock platform or something like that? It is something that we're discussing with my development team. I've also got a great support team. Um, you probably know Nathan. Yes. Yeah. So we continue talking about this stuff, but, uh, you know, um, we would from now and then, like on a, an event like today, for example, offer it to, to, to our members or the people attending uh, these sort of events. It's also available on our website. But like I mentioned, um, it is actually going for a much higher price. We just decided that for the great value that right. we've offered is not just the actual tool. I mean, you, you've seen me draw lines on a chart. Now, if you don't understand where to exactly, <laughs> how to read a pattern and, and which pivots and anchors to use, then you're right. actually in, still in the dark and you would not know how to use the tool properly. So that is great value we added there. Just those bonuses that I've thrown in there alone is of right. really good value. The, the quick start guide gets you hit the ground running and especially those, um, those uh, three videos that goes on for over three hours. And then the discussion board, because, you know, you can also, a lot of educators will give you something, but there will be nothing afterwards. So you could probably see it as sort of a forum where you can actually ask questions and stuff, which I think is is really great. Sure. And then obviously the uh, will as soon as, long as uh, for as long as we have this indicator uh, going, we'll be adding more things on there like labeling. You've probably seen the labels on um, right. Trading View. You can easily go to to the labeling here. You got one, two, three, four, fives, A, B, C, D, E's, and all that stuff. They do not have on trading view oh, on MetaTrader four or even on Intertrader. You'll have to go one, two, three, and it's a very tedious process. Now you're just on that toolbar, and we're actually going to release this. I think about um, towards the end of this month, we're going to actually add to the three buttons that you've seen. Uh, we're going to be adding uh, FIB extensions, uh, FIB retracements, according sure. to my specifications, uh, and et cetera, et cetera. So all of these things we are still adding on towards. So we've got the developer. We're in beta mode with that at the moment. I'm just testing it and passing it past my stringent um, specifications first to make sure yes. it's all working properly. <laughs> and then you soon you can just by clicking on an ABC do the same, which you can't really do. On me to trade a full five okay. or even into trade that moment. Well, I tell you, once again, Richard, it's I, I wish we had some more time to elaborate on this, but I wanna thank you very, very much for preparing this presentation and kicking off our second day of this event with this. I know that you are literally on the other side of the world <laughs> in South Africa. So I appreciate you joining us. This was a great way to get things kicked off. I'm gonna grab the Thanks, screen Robbie. here for a minute. Yeah. And okay, guys, uh, that's it for me. Thanks very much for having me and uh, enjoy the rest of the lineup, guys. Goodbye from my side. Hey, thank, thank you, you Richard. Just Folks, bye. that was Richard Krugel with Price Action Income. And once again, what he shared with you was an incredible offer on the precision pitchfork trading tool that he has, which gives you, you know, the personal trading guides, you know, the compatibility downloads with MetaTrader and NinjaTrader, and then lifetime access and future updates. And one thing that's important there about the future updates is I heard you say when people are we're working with indicators, there will be ongoing development enhancements and things of that nature, which I think are, which makes an awful lot of sense. And he was offering all that to us, Pat and Nikki because we put this thing together and the folks that are here for $147, I think that's once again, a great way to kick things off. And once again, thank Richard for that. And it is the top of the hour. It is. It means that we have a quiz, I think. <laughs> we do, we're gonna have some fun with this one. Um, as a reminder, you need to put your answer in chat or the Q&A. Our moderators will tell us which is the winner based upon who got it in there first. Mm -hmm. So um, let's just look at what today's quiz is. You ready? Yep. Which president won a Pulitzer Prize for Profiles and Courage?
pounding in their answers. <laughs> Got a winner. Excellent. All right. The winner is John Lasso. Like All right. Name. Makes me wanna. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> lassoed that John. gift card. <laughs> you gotta turn. And the answer to the question was John F. Kennedy. And he won the Pulitzer Prize for his book Profiles and Courage in 1957, which is really a series of short biographies about several of the senators who tried desperately to do uh to delay the civil war and that was the focus of profiles and courage so there you go